Warning, the following contains content intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, welcome back to RimWorld uh, with me, your host, I-19. Uh, we're going to pick right up where we left off last time. Um, I am exhausted, and I cannot record for very long today. Uh, so we're just going to take this as we go. Rest is good, recreation is good, beauty is not so good. Uh, ratty apparel, yeah, his clothes are a mess. So I'm going to need to start working on fixing that. So I could have him hunt a couple of boars and then make a tribal outfit or something out of leather. Who knows? Uh, we've got Giordi for a couple more days. Giardi. Giardi. Uh, for 2.6 more days. Uh, I wonder what he'll give us. I, I'm not entirely sure. Ah, good. He's finally removing the roof in there. Okay, so this should be considered unroofed. Okay. So these should start growing again. Yeah, growth rate 100. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. When purple wakes up, which I don't know when that's going to happen. Ah, right now. Okay. Okay, so there's several things that need to be done. This is the research room. We're going to have geothermal power there. We're going to build a hydroponics farm here, but we need the research for that first. Uh, also, I noticed this while watching the last episode over again. There's a magic tab. Cultivation! In botany to understand how to cultivate plants with properties relative to magic. Relative, relevant to magic. Okay. Okay. And then of course enchanting. Magicite refining. Uh, scribing. Develop the knowledge to mix ink. Magic comprehension. Fighter skill focus. Technomancer. Mage spells. Then arcane crafting. To make, you know, magic equipment. Ancient mail. Demon's fang. <laughs> All of this needs the portals. Instant travel between colonies. Ooh. Arcane facilities. Okay. Well, anyways, that's a thing that exists, but we're not going to deal with that. We're still working on smithing. Pushing our way to the OP turret and getting that unlocked. And as soon as it's unlocked, we're going to... Uh, sterile tile? Is sterile tile and silver tile not the same thing? Huh. I wonder what a sterile tile is made from. Weird. Anyways. Uh, after that, we'll be pushing for hydroponics. Uh, we also want to have uh, biofuel refining and geothermal power. We'll get biofuel refining first because uh, with biofuel made from rice and uh, feeding that into I think one or two generators, it's enough to keep an entire farm running. An, an entire maxed out hydroponic setup running. So, yeah. OP turrets, uh, sterile materials, hydroponics and uh, biofuel refining and then we'll move on to probably battery after that and then geothermal power uh, simply because it's quicker and this is a little harder so yeah so much stuff to get into and as soon as we unlock uh, the appropriate uh, research gunsmithing we'll make ourselves a revolver 
so we finally have a gun of some kind. And we'll use that gun for a while until we can get uh, to gas operation where we get a heavy SMG. Alright, enough talking about the future. Let's look into getting this constructed today. It needs 95 wood. So, uh, orders, chop tree. It looks like there's a couple of mature ones here. Really? All of these? Huh, okay. As soon as he's done filling in his recreation and eating some food, which we have no meals left, so he's... <laughs> He's going to end up making food first. That's okay, I'm fine with that. We need the extra meals. Once it's just him and the colony, I'm going to drop that down to two. Simply because he can't eat five meals in 3.9 days. Some meals would start rotting before I could get refrigeration going. Mana drain! We'll slowly lose mana and we'll be physically ill with no mana remaining. Okay, it's a good thing that he does not have any mana whatsoever. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Is that all of the... Uh, granite blocks those are sandstones so yeah I have to build up some more oh no it's fine two more would be enough to finish what I've had what I've got set up there all this all that those are both granite once we've got a steady supply of wood again and some granite I gotta look into some stuff <sighs> I need to make a light source inside. I really don't want to remove the roof. So, come on, focus. What do I need? Torch lamp. That there, it doesn't block it, right? Okay. Butcher's table's complete. Now anything that I kill can be butchered properly. And this needs to be refueled every 10 days. That's not bad. It'll raise the temperature of the room just slightly, but not enough that we have to worry about it. 13, it's nine outside, and then it's 11 in the bedroom. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Um, it is now, Oh wow, we survived our first month. <laughs> we started in fall and it's now winter, so that's not so bad. It's the third of Juggist. Weird. Alright, I'll let them finish cutting that all down. And this needs to be added to the list of things because his apparel is tattered. And he's going to be needing new new clothes. Ah, it's the hat. It's the hat that's causing him problems. All right. Well, I'll make him a new a new hat. The wife has spoken. She doesn't like the bowler hat, so we'll swap it to something else. <laughs> It's interesting to watch their priorities. Like, all of this wood is just sitting out here, but he won't go and deal with it until the other things, like all the other bills have been set up and all of the coolers are running again. It's 21 degrees there, 17 there. I need... Magic's returning to normal, okay. Architect, I need a 
door uh, structure door but I want a steel door here uh, because it's non flammable I think wait flammability 40 per how is a steel door flammable cancel um, Sandstone and granite are very slow to open, but it looks like I'm going to have to use a uh, sandstone door. I just want to roof in this section so that it's not uh, an outdoor area anymore. So it can create the airlock that's needed to keep this section the way it needs to be. Like, the temperature is still going to go weird every time they step out here. But this isn't always going to be here. It's eventually going to turn into a room. I haven't decided what I'm going to put in that room. It might become the workshop. It might be where I put the geothermal generators and the uh, biofuel refinery. We'll have to wait and see. But... Architects. Orders. Cut plants. All in there. So as soon as they finish building the roof, they'll clear out that indoor section. Giordi, I don't like you, so... Oh, you're not allowed to, to haul, so... You can't haul, so you're just a waste of my, a waste of my time. I don't need this butcher spot anymore, and... Technically, I still need this crafting spot, uh, because I don't have like a weapon crafting location uh, let's see tailoring takes a while so I need a chair for that brazier we'll light the surrounding and create heat drape appropriate for royal rooms okay Shelf, sun lamp, standing lamp. How big is this? Okay, so if I want to make it, it's got to be like this. Alright. And that fits with the current design. It's only going to bulge out a little bit. But that's enough space to put all of the, the stuff in. All right, let's start planning this so that I know where it's going to be for later. So, ah, shit. <laughs> ah, getting ahead of myself. One sec. Uh, sun lamp. Stick it right there so that, no, I can't actually see it. Okay, fuck. Cancel that. Sun lamp, it's right. You know, this is embarrassing. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> That took a lot longer than I would like to admit. I'm a little slow because it's early. But uh, this is where I'm going to put the hydroponics farm. I've got one extra line of space over in front. Uh, just to kind of keep it from being like right smack up against the door. Uh, basically the hydroponics farms themselves are considered dirty. So I want as much space in the room as I can allow to put sterile tiles to make the room a little more clean looking uh, because we do want our farm er, uh, our base to have a large beauty rating just to encourage uh, fuckers to come out and kill us uh, production we've only got the simple workbench unlocked for now what does it take to get the more complicated one is it microelectronics High-tech research bench. There it is. 
Okay, so we'll need to get that eventually, but everything that comes after it requires the auto cannon turret. Oh, hot. Sexy. But it's definitely weaker than the OP turret, so don't care. Uh, these research are going to require uh, microelectronics, the uh, high tech research bench in order to do, and then. Oh, and this one. But everything after that is going to require both the high tech and the multi analyzer to get the rest of these things done. Which is kind of shitty, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Moisture pump? Normalizes the moisture in the ground around them. They can turn wet ground dry and convert soft sand into normal sand. Interesting. Also, if you use that in sheet ice, it creates more ice. It's very cool. Uh, anyways. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's come out of research. That's where we're going to put the hydroponics farm. Uh, this is going to be our workshop for the stone cut it or for like the uh, fuck I can't remember what it's called the chem fuel and the bio generators uh, this is going to be power our research room which I think I'm actually going to make slightly bigger uh, Like that. So it's got this big room to be in. Uh, because the high tech workbench is too wide and then quite long. I don't think it's as long as this entire room, but if it's only as long to here, then I can put the multi analyzer right here next to it. And then I can put a couple of uh, tool benches. Tool something. Is it in production? No, I don't have them unlocked yet. There's like toolboxes or tool benches or something uh, which boost the things. Uh, and I can put those in there. It'll also give me room for a light and other stuff for that. Uh, and then down this way, I'm gonna build additional built uh, rooms for things. Toxic buildup. This one's fine. This one can actually be butchered. Uh, where's purple? There's purple. Actually, I gotta put the bill over here. This one, I do not want to allow that one. I do not want to allow that one, but I do want this one to be butchered. So, add bill, butcher creature, details. Oh crap, I have to do this again. Is this gonna be okay? Yeah, this is fine. It's for cooking that I have to do that again. Ugh. Ugh. Is he gonna run over? What is he doing? What are you doing? He's just wandering around to improve his stuff. So I'm gonna have him cannot butcher. Need material. But it's right here. Oh, it's rotting. Ah, uh, it's fine. Okay, can't deal with it because it's rotting. I'll just let him harvest the rest of the rice. How many meals are we down to? Two. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I am gonna need refrigeration at some point, and then I'm gonna need a kitchen as well. Uh, this is gonna be the main recreation room where it's going to be the tables for eating, it's going to be uh, the places where all of the recreational stuff will be located, uh, just in here to keep everything going fine. And then lower down, I think the kitchen's going to be here uh, with the freezer attached to the back, or maybe I'll do it on the other side, that way you, they can come straight out, go down, and go in. That sounds more like a plan. Uh, the other colonist bedrooms are going to be down this way. Uh, the smeltery and all that fun stuff are going to be down here. So eventually I need to cut out this entire thing. 
but for now it's not as necessary. Speaking of which... Ah, yeah, he's dead. Shit. <laughs> Purple, I need you to haul. Can I do? Yeah, I can use the shift button. Ah, uh, I wish I'd known that sooner. And where's the other corpse? There was another one. There's a rat. I'm afraid I'm not gonna see them. Maybe they already is, nope. Damn, broken empire. Because they're already dead, I can't strip their clothes off, no matter how good they are. Alright. Eventually, in this playthrough, he'll get around to eating people. <laughs> and the first one that's going to be eaten is probably going to be Jordy, to be completely honest. If he joins us, I'm, I'm probably definitely going to eat him. I don't really want him to wear these clothes. Uh, but he's going to forswear them. Let's see. What does that do to your gear? Ah, nice! That actually helped a lot. Okay. Then I'm fine with him wearing that bearskin parka. Because it protects him a little bit more from the heat and a little bit more from the cold. Where is he? What are you doing? No, don't haul that. He's just running and grabbing random things. Oh man, there's like a whole chunk of uh, compacted machinery right there. I'm gonna need those components soon because I'm gonna start going into power soon. Because uh, I'm going to need the... Oh, shit. New quest, Defense of Fortune. Stash of Fortune. It's for Glitter World Medicine. That could potentially save his life. But what is this Defense of Fortune? Sam, Sammy, Gerator, Prime Counselor of Southern Hincombe wants you to help save one of the caravans. The caravan is being hunted near Lecterton by two groups of pirates from Trouble Unit. Sammy wants you to signal the pirates to draw them away from the caravan and towards you. The first group of pirates consists of one drifter. The second, similar sized group will follow shortly after. If you accept, they'll arrive in 1.6 days. Um, I can accept for 34 Hyperweave, Three Glitter World Medicine and a hundred silver. And or I can do it for six glitter world medicine. I think the hundred silver and three glitter world medicine will be good. Uh but I don't know if I can survive that conflict. Because. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, because it's pirates. They have armor and they have guns. I don't know how the drifter's gonna handle. So. Uh, Jesus Christ. Purple. You cannot do magic, but you have a double passion for it, which is fun. Magic manipulation will not do. Aw. Is not able to do any work of this type because of his health condition. Health condition? Is it the bloodlust? Is it cannibal? Bloodlust? Movement speed? Anyways, uh, I don't think I can handle two pirates, although, no, if I kill him, if he gets killed, 
he departs in three hours, so I wouldn't be able to do it with him anyways. Um, fuck. Where is Gjordi? Where are you at? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to draft both of them and stick them here. This is a terrible... <sighs> I hit the wrong button. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea, but I'm going to accept the pirate attack. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. I'm going to give Giordi the wooden club because I'm not using it anymore. Because I have his steel club. Go back to the colony. They're going to come over. Giordi is going to equip the wooden club and then come right back here. And then we're going to hit this button. Not that button. Quests. This button. And we're going to accept this one. And we're going to accept it for the silver and the Glitter World Medicine. Yep. So they're going to attack us immediately with one Drifter. And then in one and a half days, going to be attacked by the other one. But I, I'm thinking with Gordy here too, it should be okay. What materials do I have? Not enough to make a surprise kill trap. Oh, yes, I do. Architect. Uh, I should have done this before Wooden Trap. Uh, I need to do this and then do prioritize making that. Come on. They're not here yet. Mm. Refugee leaving. Says he won't forget what you've done. Okay. Fuck. Has this got enough wood? It does not, but I can't have him move past that. So, I'm just gonna ban the use of this door for now. Or rather, hold that open and then ban the use of that door? Something? Oh man, stop walking across the trap. I'm gonna ban the use of that door for a while and just kinda leave him in here to do random stuff until Oh my god. Quest completed. You've successfully completed the quest, Yardy Unknown. Okay. Um, possible future reward. Visitors help. Okay. Possible future reward. This is highly dangerous, but I'm going to have him... Prioritize building that. Please don't set off the trap. Please don't set off the trap. Okay. Now I need you to go right here immediately. Okay. Then as soon as you get through, we're going to disallow that door. And then release you from draft. All right, if a pirate wants to come and fight me, they're going to have to walk across that. But where the hell is it? I thought it was going to start immediately. Seven hours? Septed seven hours ago, first group. Being hunted near Lexington. Lecterton. I want you to signal the pirates to draw them away from the caravan and towards you. Is that... Are they going to come to me or am I going to have to go to them? 
I don't see anything, so I'm assuming they're going to come to me, which could be a bad thing. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it for now. He's got plenty of food. He's got access to rice. Visitors. Group from South Southeastern are visiting the colony today. Okay. Then I need you to haul that. Don't you fucking put it on. We've had this issue before, man. It's not better than what you're wearing. Reinstall here. This one. Reinstall here. No! Stop fucking putting it on! You stupid fucker! God damn it! I'm just gonna disallow both of those so he stops with this bullshit. And I need you to fucking work on that right now, please. Because you need access to the outside of the base. Okay. Now, whenever the visitors show up, there they are. Okay, what's what can I trade with you? Uh, it should be paused. Okay. Uh, unrefined magicite and assault rifle. Good. <laughs> you will buy both of these. Fantastic. That's 21 silver there. Birdskin ladies hat. Social impact up, but, you know, I don't have enough money to afford it. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to be able to... Uh to buy something from him. This assault rifle would have been real good because that's pretty far down the tech tree, but it looks like that's not going to happen, so no, no, no. You haul that silver inside. That is hard-earned money, man. I know I'm low on food. It's fine. When are the pirates going to show up? It's supposed to be one drifter, right? It's going to happen at some point. Should definitely prioritize hauling all the wood in. It's going to go right back to that? Yeah, okay. So, shift, right click, haul. There we go. Okay. Really? Okay. I was like, is it going to take a second, or is it going to actually do this? There we go. All the wood's inside the base now. What's happening? Gift from Southern... Five demon scales! Hot! Uh, pride from the body of a demon, these scales offer a lightweight and versatile defense against all forms of attack. Excellent and natural barrier to magic and is an excellent inhibitor to fire and heat. A warrior with enough armor crafted from demon scale can be immune to all but the most intense fire. Can be smelted, informed, and weapons forged from this refined metal make excellent bladed weapons hot hot and sexy that is that worth a lot it's worth 18 per that's not so bad that is literally the most valuable thing that we have right now cannot haul no empty accessible spot configured to store it what are you talking about these not take oh these don't take magic items yeah let's allow magical items. Can he now deal with that? No? Why?
Is it a raw food? Demon flesh, demon flesh. Surely it's not a food, right? Oh, I think I think I know what's going on. Raw resources. Demon scale. Or Calium. Okay. There we go. There's some stuff that isn't allowed to be put here. Magic weapons. Apparel. Gonna turn that into a check mark and then make sure that tainted apparel is not on that list. Buildings. Production. Arcane Forge. Yeah, we're gonna allow that one. Gem Crafter and Scribing Table. Manufactured. Drugs. We're not even using drugs, so it should be fine. Okay. Now he can haul that in. I don't know how I'm supposed to signal these pirates to come over here to do this quest. I want you to signal the, the pirates and draw them towards you. Accepted 21 hours ago. Pirates from Trouble Unit. It's Defense of Fortune, so I'm assuming that means that they're going to come to me. I gotta let him do his thing. The rice is fine, even when it's outside. Yeah, 40 days. It'll be okay. I can just let it... Let it be. That shouldn't require me to travel, right? Even if I fail the quest, it's not like I'm gonna lose anything, right? I've got some extra steel down there. Tool cabinet, that's what it's called. 200. It affects all of the workstations near it. Alright. Low food. I know. But as soon as he finishes with this, prioritize hauling the rice, please. Not that. There. Can I adjust him to haul more often? of his health condition. I'm assuming that means because he doesn't have a magical trait that he's not able to do anything magic related. Speaking of which, I wanted to put a meditation spot in. Furniture, no. Structure, no. Production, no. Uh, recreation, no. The poker table, though. That's really good. But so is billiards. I think this... Yeah, I trained shooting skill, so might do the- oh my god, it's huge. The billiards table in here. Ship, floors, security, floors. Ah, sandstone tile. Okay, so. Three construction needed. They're pretty to look at. Take a long time to lay. Fine sandstone tiles. Takes a lot of sandstone. For expressing economic status. Concrete. 
cheap, quick to build. Concrete tiles, cheap, but neutral in terms of looks. Wood floor, warm, honey feeling, while it is quick to lay, it's also very flammable. So the sandstone tile is probably the best thing that we can do. Uh, we definitely don't want to put down the fine sandstone tile yet. That would be highly dangerous. But we can put down normal sandstone tile, which uh, the first room I want to do that in is his bedroom. Because it's a smaller location, but we don't have 64 sandstone blocks to do that with. Might have to queue up more on this. Okay, what is the priorities? What needs to be done right now? He kind of needs time to research. But I can't tell him to research. He just won't do it on his own, I don't think. It's kind of frustrating. Six on plants. Two more levels and we can put some heal root down. I kind of also need him to swap out his hat for something. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay. Need you to come right here immediately. And actually, I need to architect. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Reinstall right here. You need to be reinstalled right here. You need to immediately do that right now. How far away are they? He is right there and he's wearing a wooden club. All right, what's his gear look like? He's got some money, he's got sheep wool pants and a cloth button down shirt. Okay, he's not as dangerous as I had thought he was. His melee skill is five. He's got a higher shooting skill, but he only has a wooden club. So I'm not that terrified. I do indeed, however, first want to put down both of these traps. And then I want to have you stand right here. And just wait for him to come. It's going to take a minute, but he will show up. Oh man, first meal of the day uh, of this fucking playthrough is just inviting itself right to our front door, wherever the fuck this guy is. I'm so excited. Let's go to three speed. It slowed the game down uh, forcefully to one speed because the encounter had started. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Is he eventually going to attack me? Raid trouble unit have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Okay. It's just the one guy, right? Oh no, it's two. What has he got? Wait, are you naked with a cowboy hat? He's got pants. Weirdo. Okay, so I've got two groups. Manya and this guy. He's coming. Get ready, purple. Okay. I imme immediately need you to prioritize rebuilding that. Pods arrived. Ah, oh, it's my reward! It's already giving it to me? That's silly. No, I need you to prioritize putting this in place. Um, Hauling him, please. No, 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 no. He's down. Okay. 
got him. Strip his ass. And now melee attack him until he dies. Okay. And then we're going to undraft him and we're going to set this up bills for two creatures that should do both of the humanoid corpses. Humanoid? Human-like corpses. Right? Come on, buddy. I need you to do this. Yeah. Okay. So I want to hold shift, right click. No, I gotta click on him first. Prioritize hauling. Prioritize hauling. 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 He's gonna sleep for a few minutes and then go do this. Spoils in 1.8 days. Come on, buddy. Do you need to sleep that much? I'm so proud of him. He survived his first. Sweet. Did he get hit? He did not get hit a single time. Those traps. Thank you so much for existing. Unfortunately, they're one-use traps. Which sucks. If they were like... Uh, what was it? 1.8? 1. 1. 1.7? Rimworld? Where you could just rearm them for free. It just took a second. It was a little bit of... of uh, some clicking to do, but it was still a thing that could be done. I also need to get a comms console and some fucking uh, and an orbital beacon so that I can start trading with uh, Passing by ships. Quest active. Ship to the stars. What is going on? Passage off world. What? A friendly AI from your past named Charl Charlon Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on the planet and sends you its world coordinates. The starship is in deep hibernation. You'll have to start it up when you arrive then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence completes. It will be a long and difficult series of battles. If you can get the ship off the ground, he will take you off this rim world to the stars. Jump to ship location. Oh my god, it's on the south pole. Where are we? It's right there. Where are we? Um, what color is even my faction? Oh, we're right there. God damn it. We'd have to go up and around and all the way around. That could take months. Let's form a caravan and find out. Yeah. 55.7 days. Oh my god. How about no? 55.7 days. That would require him to fill his entire inventory with food. And a bedroll to make resting easier. And then when he showed up... 
I think this is just a sheet ice location. Sheet ice? Yeah, it's ice sheet. So there would be materials nearby. If he could get there with a com with a couple of components. Uh, he could mine up some steel and make both an OP turret and a some form of generator for power for it. And that would be able to take care of anything that came nearby. But he'd have to work fast and work hard, and he's not equipped for the cold. He's barely equipped for anything. Yeah, that's not going to happen. As much as I would love to do that, we're not going to be able to. Maybe in the next, in his next life, we'll try that. But for now, that's just not possible. But yeah, he needs to focus on... Like, building these, and I'm going to have them move to the side. This one needs to be cancelled. Architect... Uh, security, wooden trap, here. And he finishes building this. Reinstall here. From what I understand, there's a small chance of it activating. But having them off to the side will, at the very least, and then this can be uh, allowed to close on its own now. Oh, I should should take the stockpile zone off of that uh, shrink zone off of that chair. <laughs> Oh my god, he finally picked up the steel that was down there for ages. Um, and he's finally hauling in the sandstone chunks. Alright. Oh my Jesus. Oh, I'm just kind of sitting here like, oh man, what am I going to do? But yeah, I should probably call it here. He survived his first raid. We have seen a, a potential way to escape from the planet. However, right now he doesn't have the necessary things to protect the ship. And I think the ship is just going to stay there permanently. Yeah, I think it's just going to stay there permanently until we complete it, or until we go to it. It's a four-star difficulty quest. Uh, I still kind of want to do Stash of Fortune, but uh, he has Glitter World Medicine now, which reminds me, health, best quality medicine. Next time he gets like severely injured. Well, no. Let's keep it on herbal medicine or no medicine. Herbal medicine or worse. For now. Unless he gets severely hurt and then I'll switch him to using... Oh, look! A turtle! Okay. Is this the turtle that was wandering around my base? Or was it off to the side? Let me check the wildlife. There should only be like one or two turtles on the map. Tortoise. Okay. There are actually a lot of turtles. There's female turtles around too. But he was on this side? Last time I saw. But it looks like if he was, he's pretty far away now. By the way, I could kill these elephants and harvest their tusks for ivory. 
uh, which sells for a lot. That's a thing I could do. Anyways, where did the turtle go? I just... Where'd he go? There he is. And it is a he. No handler can tame tortoise. Requires level 7. Purple has level 2. Damn. Okay, so he's not going to be able to tame it anyways. That sucks. Oh, he's researching. Yay! It seems like when there's nothing else queued up, he will research. Alright. Uh, but anyways, that's where I've got to call it for today. Uh, I'm out of time. This episode shouldn't be too long. It probably is really long. It's probably as long as the other episodes, and it shouldn't have been. Yeah, I ran over like 30 minutes. I gotta... I gotta get out of here. But alright, we survived our first raid. We've got human meat. Uh, now we've got some meals made from said human meat. It's amazing. This is amazing. He's finally a cannibal in this life. Uh, hopefully divine retribution won't be too intense. How much human leather do we have? 77? I know, I know. Oh, make a wizard hat. Oh my god! <laughs> plus five max energy, plus five arcane power. Okay, so it has like... Social and drug production bonuses is enchanted and provides additional benefits to train uh, mages and fighters. Uh, what's its drug synthesis, drug cooking, max carry capacity up by 25, social impact 5%. Wow, that's actually not that bad. You know what? Fuck. And it's worth 250? Ah, uh, it needs refined magicite. Damn! I was gonna make him a human leather wizard hat because that would be beast uh, but I guess that's not gonna happen make patch leather combine various types to create weak patch leather uh, okay well damn uh, sixty ingredients could make him a button-down shirt and some pants out of human leather? Or could I? That's 40. And the button down shirt is how much? 45. So that's 85. I don't have enough. I've got 77. Darn. I could make him the shirt and then wear these pants. Oh, they're terrible quality. They're already ratty. And these are already ratty as well. That sucks. Okay, well, never mind then. Besides, these are tainted apparel, right? Yeah. Those will eventually be hauled up to... Did I not make a tainted apparel spot? I did not. Okay. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Stockpile zone. Right here. Clear all apparel only those okay I gotta stop I gotta stop uh, ah, ah, ah! thank you all for watching peeps if you liked the video please click that like button and if you want to see more content from me your host is 19 be sure to click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video bye bye